Hallmark Movie Channel goes on location with the cast and crew of the Hallmark <laughs> Movie Channel original, After the Fall. I played the role of Jenna Danville, who is a competitive horse rider. At the very last jump, her horse kind of hesitates and she, she falls and becomes paralyzed and her whole world kind of gets shaken up. Dad. Don't try to get up. What's, what's wrong? Something's wrong. I can't feel anything. What happened? Dad, something's wrong. I can't feel anything. <laughs> I'm gonna get the doctor. Everything that she loved is kind of taken from her. Her boyfriend breaks up with her because he can't handle dealing with this and her best friend kind of fades away and she has to really rely on herself and her own spirit to, to get her through this. With what happens in the story, you know, with uh, the fall, now his responsibilities and like, that thing that every parent regrets happening kicks in and he's got to try to make the best of it and use his faith and uh, in her ability through whatever source and power is out there to go for the miracle, to really go for the miracle. It really strengthens their relationship. She relies on him a lot. He's constantly her anchor. You've got an opportunity that a lot of people that are in the same position as you are not gonna have, but you gotta want it. You gotta wanna do it. There's Will, who is her neighbor. He becomes this kind of light in her life. So he kind of is like her knight in shining armor, and he literally, in the first scene they have together, rides up on a horse. Look like you could use some help. <sighs> Depends on who you are. Mr. Danville has asked me to take care of, you know, their horse, Bentley, after the accident. Uh, and I become this sort of rock for Jenna. I, th I think I, I give her a good bit of uh, confidence and, and kind of help her, you know, adjust with the things that have happened. He sees her for who she is and he likes that, you know, and, and wants to get her to know her despite of the fact that she, you know, has this kind of handicap. I think Will is, uh... He's kind of like that next door neighbor that everybody would love to have, you know. He's, he's that guy that's got those good values and you know that no matter what, you're going to get a good solid guy. And the guy lives right next door, so, you know, bring him over. There's a connection there in the beginning, an attraction, but I don't think that Will really thinks that that's where it's going to become. It just kind of evolves into that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, he's pretty easy on the eyes. He's, he's great. We, I'm really glad we get along very, very well. He's a sweetheart and he does a really good job in the film. And he just really looks the part. He looks good in cowboy boots and cowboy hats. You know, I've been thinking throughout the film what it would be like to just all of a sudden not be able to walk anymore, you know, and, and how much we take that for granted. Because it takes a lot of adjusting. I think you you initially think that you can just sit down and wheel around and it'll be pretty easy, but it's surprisingly very difficult. I went out into the real world in a wheelchair. It's just something I have a lot more compassion for now, and I hope I'm doing it justice. I think the story's got such a good morale to it and serves such a big purpose. If you can create something that has a little bit for everybody and is still funny for the kids. I love that. I mean, it's rare, right? It's nice to do something that I know everyone can sit down and watch and can be viewed by all and enjoyed by all. I like the message it brings. It brings, you know, everyone needs a little bit of hope and, and faith in anything that they do. And I feel like that really comes out in this film. Don't miss After the Fall, only on Hallmark Movie Channel.